Okay, so if you're good at writing basic scrapers and you want to take it up to the next level, then this video might help you out. What we're going to do is we're going to take the information that I've got here and we're going to write a scraper class that we can import into other parts of our projects. So what I've got here is just a basic scraper and if I run this, you'll see that we get some information back. Uh, you can see it just all the way down here. Uh, there's the price uh, and the name of this item. So what we want to do is we want to create a class using this information that we can import into our project elsewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this into a new file, make this nice and big, and we're going to write the word class because we are creating a new class. I'm just going to call this one scraper. Now we need to have our initialization function. What this is going to do is every time we call this class, it's going to initialize these. So it's going to set, in our case, these variables up for us. So we're going to do def double underscore init and PyCharm fills it out for us, which is one of the reasons why I like PyCharm a lot. Now, because we're within our class, we need to reference self with almost everything that we do. So I'm going to say self dot session is equal to HTML session. So you can see that here we have our s is equal to html session and over here all i'm doing is i'm calling it session instead and we're referencing it inside the self part of our initialization method the next one that we want is the headers so i'm going to do self dot headers is equal to and i'm going to copy all the headers from here the user agent in this case only let's copy this whole line and let's put it in here, we don't need this bit. So I'm also gonna add in the base URL because this uh, scraper is for Amazon, I'm just gonna add in that there. You don't have to do this depending on what you're doing, but I'm gonna do self dot, and we're gonna call this base URL is equal to, and we'll grab that from over here as well. We can see we have this part and the ASIN at the end there. So I'm just gonna paste this in here. So now we have our three bits of information set up, which is going to be called every time we create an instance of this class. So now we can work on the next methods or functions that we need. So I'm gonna call this one extract. So this one's gonna be the one that gets us all that information that we need. And we're gonna say, obviously we need to reference self. Again, this is auto filled in for me, but we're also gonna give it an ASIN number so it knows what to do. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna write out the sort of the main uh, shell or the framework of what we're scraping. Now we're only getting two bits of data, so it's quite easy and simple, but what we wanna do is wanna replicate this bit here kind of, and this part here. But we're gonna do that using our class. So what we wanna do is we want to say our R is equal to self.session dot get so instead of s dot get which we used over here which is our session our s is our session we're going to be using the self dot session that we've referenced up here and now we can say that the base url we're going to say we're going to add that to the asin that we're going to give it and we're calling str around this the string because we want to make sure that because it's being added to the end of the base url which is this it's a string so it can be concatenated together the next thing we want to do is just put those headers in so that was self dot headers and we're good to go so the next bit that we want to do is we want to do something with the data we're going to scrape so i'm just going to call scraped item here is equal to and i'm going to create a tuple full of the data so you can see we've got this the curly brackets here as a tuple uh, we're not going to be using a dictionary for this because i think a tuple is probably a better option so over here we have the title and the price so I'm going to grab both of this because we know that this works for this website. And I'm going to paste this in here. I'm going to remove the first parts just like this. And I'm going to put commas in. So what we're saying is that the scraped item is going to be the data that we found here, which we know that we worked from the other code. And then out of this, we're just going to return that scraped item. So this is kind of like the basic part of it. Now, if we wanted to say make this work more generally with more with lots of other websites um, or maybe it had you wanted to find extra bits of data you could just add that in here and then your scraped item returned would be including that or if you didn't want it to do with this website and you're working with another one either you can hard code the selectors in here like i've done or you can pass the selectors into this uh, this method here as an argument and you can say this is the selector for this and this is the selector for that so you can work on it like that so you can make it as called cool, either as uh, more focused for one website or more general for others but we're going to stick with it like this i'm going to save this and what we can do now because we're done with our class we can actually call an instance of this class and give it the asin that we've set up here 
and we can get some data back. So I'm going to call mine please sub with a Z because I think that's how it's supposed to be done and this is the scraper. So I called this scraper and that is basically creating an instance of this class down here. So now all we need to do is we need to call our instance of the class and then dot extract and we need to give it an ASIN so I'll come and grab this one from here like that and if we actually save this into a variable let's just call this one uh, product and now if we print that out you can still see that right at the bottom there scroll down a bit and we run this we're going to get back that data can you see there we go I'll move that up so it's not behind my head this is the information that we've got back just by creating the class of that scraper that we've done here and you could put any bits of information in here as long as it matches the selectors that we've given it I think this one does as well and we'll get that information back as well there we go now this would work as well if you wanted to use it across a different across your whole project so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new python file and we'll just call this one um, asyn scraper.py and what we're going to do is we're going to import in from here this file into this one so we're going to say from let's make this bigger class scraper and that's our py file we're going to import scraper so what we can do now is we can actually just call this class here so i'll say like this video is equal to our scraper class and then again we can call the extract method and i need to grab this again and paste it in here let's save that and then let's run this and we're going to get back that data again so you can really use these classes and objects and their methods across your project to do things for you so you could actually uh, anything that you put in here now will still come across to here so you could create new uh, methods in here maybe you had some data cleaning you wanted to do you could create a new one just remember to use the self command whenever you're referencing it if you've enjoyed this you're going to want to check out this video here which contains a lesser known but more powerful method of web scraping